Okay, YouTube. I have a really cool fix for headlight adjustment screws that get stripped in their plastic uh, holder. And you don't get rid of the plastic holder. You actually uh, use a washer to make a separate uh, thread. And you do that with a tap and die. So I'm going to show you what I did with my uh, CUCV here. First off, I'm going to take off the cover. And I'm going to take out the uh, light. I'm not going to unhook it. I'm just going to take it out. <clears throat> so you have this cover right here. Then you have a little uh, holder, light holder um, rim around the light that holds the light in, actually. And then I'll show you what it looks like after I get it off. I'm not going to spare you uh, having to watch me unscrew it. Okay. So you see that middle bolt or screw right there is your adjustment screw for the headlight. That's attached to a plastic holder where it's, the plastic is actually threaded. And the headlight, if you screw it in, will angle upward. Okay, and then what it's going against is this spring right here. This spring is kind of keeping it, uh, keeping the tension. So this this thing is stripped. Uh, the plastic is totally stripped because uh, my headlights need to go up, and I tighten them, and it didn't seem too tight, but they actually strip. So I'm going to take out this adjustment screw and the plastic uh, holder and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Alright, so here's this little piece of plastic that I was talking about and normally the way these things work, this fits inside a, uh, a little square cutout inside the uh, engine compartment case and these little flanges hold it and as you have tension these flanges hold and the screw goes in and the headlight goes up all right the angles upward all right so this one you can see right here i'm going to just illustrate yeah you can just pull it right out totally stripped right totally stripped all right so the next thing you want to do is this pretty handy thing to have here I got this off of eBay probably I spent probably about $45 off of it but you know you see these in the hardware stores the uh, and it's fasterline.com and what they have are the uh, nuts and bolt sizes here that you can check your size thread so this one I happen to know is a quarter by 28 all right so we're quarter by 28 some of them i saw on some of the forums particularly steel soldier some of them are seven millimeters by one um that's an odd size because if you look over here standard seven millimeter um Where's it even M7 there? Is it, oh, there's M7. I guess it's not an odd size. So I take that back. So M7 by 1, that's some of them. Uh, but mine happens to be quarter by 28. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these fender washers right here. And it's a little bit, this hole is a little bit smaller than a quarter 28. And I'm going to use my tap and die to uh, tap a quarter 28 thread into it. So here's my tap and die set from Amazon. I've spent about 40 to $45 for it. It's a 40 piece set. And I have a uh, SAE and a metric one. So I set up the quarter 20 tap and we're gonna tap a uh, Quarter 28, I'm sorry, quarter 28 hat tap, and we're going to tap that into uh, this fender washer right here. OK, 
Okay, here we go. Let me tap it. I'm holding this obviously with a uh, my trusty vice grip. Love those tools. And it's pretty easy. This fender washer again. The hole was only a little bit smaller than a quarter twenty-eight. And this is going in no problem at all. If you have one that has a bigger hole, obviously you can't use it. But if you have one that has a smaller hole, you could drill it out a little bit to make it easy. So this is going in pretty easy now, as you can see. So that should do it, and we'll test it. Is our screw and yeah that goes in great goes in awesome and you see I'm pulling on it and that thing ain't coming out all right so the next thing is I'm gonna show you a little trick so that you don't have to put your hand behind the firewall you, you could just put your hand up in through the uh, hole for the socket to hold this thing in place so that you don't have to remove, like on the other side, I would have had to have moved the uh, battery and the battery cover, which is kind of a pain, to uh, get behind there. But you don't need to get behind there. You can hold your hand up through there, and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I just want to give everybody an idea what it looks like in here with the headlight disassembled from the housing. You see right there is the cutout for this piece of plastic right here and you see the flanges on each side you put it in and then as you tension it the flanges hold it from coming out all right so now you can see uh this things you know being if it's plastic it's going to strip really easy especially if you got a nice strong spring on the bottom like that to keep it from moving uh so the thinking is that I'm going to take, I'm going to put it in through the hole, and then I'm going to keep the plastic on it, okay, keep the plastic on it, and then we're going to screw into the washer, and the washer is going to keep the tension uh, on there, and what you want to do is you want to actually reach up through here to hold your hand against the washer. You don't have to go behind here, right? So you take a look over here, what I would have had to have done if I had to go behind. There's no way. I mean, there's, it would have taken me forever. I got a battery uh, holder in place there. I would have take all that off. I would have had to move the battery. A big pain. So I already did this side. I wanted to show you what I'm going to do over here because I can't keep the camera rolling while I'm doing it because I'm a one-man show. But hopefully you get the idea. I'm going to put the plastic piece in in the flange. Okay, put it in. I put it in the uh, the cutout, and then I'm going to attach it to the light. Then I'm going to put my hand in here holding the back of the, holding the washer and threading the adjustment screw through that washer. And it worked on the other side. We'll see if it works on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna get a shot of this. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the washer in the back. I have to get behind there to show you, but we'll see if I can get it. You see the plastic flange is in there and I put my hand up in the back and the washer is now fixed to the screw. And we'll see if we can get in there. And there, you can see it a little bit at least. There's the washer. It's a, probably a little bit blurry because the light isn't great and the focus isn't great, but you get the idea. And again, it's tapped with the quarter 28. All right, so we have the head knight in uh, nice and snug and 
Uh, all I could say is that, you know, I, I tried to get it so that you could see it angle up, but you can't really see it. Maybe at night I'll, uh, I'll show you how it angles, but, uh, it's, it, take my word for it, it works. In any event, it wasn't really a hard hack. I'd say both lights probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour for the pair. I would recommend that you have some pre-tapped washers just in case like if any people do four-wheel driving I don't really do that but if you go over some you know some bumps or you're trying to get out of a rut or whatever the heck it is that that's gonna cause the headlight to jar uh, just in case unlikely that it's gonna unstrip that's gonna strip that washer but It'd be nice to have a few aside so that you can do some uh, field fixes because it's really not that difficult. So uh, I'm probably going to have like uh, at least two aside uh, in my toolbox so that uh, in case something does happen, I can fix it. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative for you. And uh, this applies to any vehicle, not just the uh, Cuck V. So uh, if you if you uh, do it to another vehicle or have any comments about it uh, let me know all right Ron prepper out and as always uh, keep prepping guys